they're taking people are buying print plates on eBay. Let's say they find an Aaron Rodgers or Patrick Mahomes print plate and they buy it for fifty dollars, seventy five dollars. It's a one on one. It's a real print plate. They're putting a sticker auto on the front. They're laser printing an autograph guarantee on the back. And they're selling these cards as Patrick Mahomes, not just a print plate, but a print plate auto. So there's this, there's also a, a print plate influx where these forgers are seeing, hey, here's an opportunity with playbook. Here's an opportunity with print plates. Here's an opportunity of 2018 score. And so you can see how a bad actor could literally go spend a hundred dollars on score base rookies, a hundred dollars on playbook base rookies and Aaron Rodgers and Tom Brady and Mahomes, and go buy spend about five hundred in print plates. And you can throw a bunch of fake sticker autos on there. And next thing you know, you flip that investment of, you know, five, seven hundred dollars into thirty thousand, forty thousand. And that's what we're dealing with right now. And so I'd say any any Panini print plate auto, any playbook 2020, uh, any 2018 score auto, really give it a good look. Look at the ink on the playbook, look for the window around the sticker, the white, you know, airbrushed square they put out there. And then on the print plates, really look at the ink and look at the printing on the back. Those three areas right now, 2018 score, 2020 playbook, and all print plate autos. I would always have, I would always give those a second look, even if they're graded. Because what's happening is oftentimes the grader will just look for the guarantee and once they see the guarantee on the back, they assume it's real. And they don't really dive into it and look at it with a skeptical eye. 